Hey cookies, welcome back. I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. We all gained some good weight. But today we're gonna gain some more because I'm showing you how to make my easy creamy melt in your mouth honey pralines. These only took about 25 minutes to make. Yes, and I did not use a candy thermometer and I didn't do a soft ball test either. Let me show you how to make these. First things first, I set up what I call my dropping station because it's really quick. Once this candy is ready to drop, we have to move quickly. So I covered a baking sheet, or just a regular cookie sheet with some foil and rubbed it down with some butter. Here I have about a cup and a half of pecans that I stole from my mom. Hey girl, thank you. She gonna fuss at me. Anyway, <laughs> don't put my pecans in my candy. I like to add them in afterwards, not during the cup time. Next up, I have four tablespoons of salted butter because sweets need salt. All right, baby, now we're at the stove and I'm using a heavy bottom saucepan, not a really big one. Got a real sturdy handle because that's gonna come in handy when it's time to drop these bad boys. I'm gonna add in some granulated sugar. Need to know how much, click that link in the description box. I got you, boo. I only use granulated sugar, I don't use brown, but you can if you like. Um, and now I'm pouring in some evaporated milk, about two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. Good quality evaporated milk, okay? And I'm not trying to be bougie, you know, because your girl, you know, I'm down with the off brand, you know, brand, you, you know, I'll do what I gotta do. But with dairy products, I like to use name brand. I just think the taste is better. That's just my opinion. But just do that, get you some pet milk, and you know, it will be good. So I have it at a pretty high heat and I'm just stirring this is kind of like a roux once you get to stirring you cannot leave okay so we're just gonna stir this until we get to a boil stage and it's going to take approximately four to five minutes on a high heat to reach that stage okay look here you, you see when the little bubbles start to form around the edge prepare yourself to crank that heat down to from high to about an eight, because look, 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 it goes crazy, like it erupts. It will boil over the pot if you don't watch it. So make sure you're stirring and you lower that heat a little bit, but this is exactly what we want. And I'm gonna allow this to boil until it reduces. And that will take maybe about seven to 11 minutes, okay? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, before you do any of this, you got to pray, okay? Like, Lord, touch this candy, touch my arm, let me get this right, be able to judge, because again, we're not using a thermometer, but it works, I'm telling you. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. We're about, what, six minutes in now, the entire cooking process, and it's starting to die down some. And here, you can see that it's starting to reduce. You know, some of that, I tried to back it up so you can see it was a little bit higher and now it has reduced some. So just keep watching it. We're almost there, baby. Okay, so here is after about 11 minutes. And while I'm stirring, you can kind of see it's starting to separate from, you know, the edge of the pot. And as it cooks more and we get closer to getting ready to remove it off the heat, I will be able to create a path in it with my spoon. And that lets me know that, hey, we can start moving this off the heat, add in our pecans, our vanilla, and all that good stuff, and butter. And it's almost time to drop. So once you start to see it separating from the sides of the pot, then you know you're getting really close. Keep stirring. Now I'm adding in my vanilla extract. And now it's just gonna go crazy. See, it starts to separate and I can literally kind of create a little path with my spoon. So now I've ran over to my dropping station. I've taken it from the heat and I'm adding in the butter. This part goes really fast, so that's why I have my station set up. Because as you're stirring in your butter, you're gonna feel this mixture start to thicken. And especially once you add in those pecans, I'm so sorry that it's blurry, but I was moving y'all, it's hard doing this. But you'll feel it kind of like scrape, like it gets, it literally gets thick and it will tell you like, hey, drop me down. Like you'll be able to feel it. And it'll, if you take too long dropping it, it'll start to harden in the pot. Don't be alarmed, just add like a tablespoon of milk and keep it going. That'll 
stop it from hardening so quickly but like I said as you make the candy you'll start to become more familiar with the look and the texture and the feel of the candy as you're stirring once you feel it start to thicken up you'll know I promise you it'll start to sound like you're scraping the pot so you'll know okay let me drop this stuff the consistency starts to change it thickens up and I promise you you will know with this recipe I usually get at least a dozen of these candies if I make them this size now normally I make them a little bit thicker so I was able to get 15 because I was rushing trying to film this for you but look you can always make them in bite-sized pieces and you can make a lot more but this time I got 15 because I didn't make them thick okay now we're gonna allow our candy to cool set harden for about 20 to 30 minutes and that's it guys I really really hope this made sense like I said once you get in there and start doing it you'll be like oh, okay I get what Coop was doing all right I got you but seriously guys this is the easiest recipe I've done for these candies it works every time and they literally melt in your mouth babies thank you so much for watching and as always the full link to this recipe will be in that description box so click it check it out and i will talk to you guys a little bit later be blessed